Wilson. Okay, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. This is, uh, I seen this on the video a long time ago when I wrote, wrote the specs down what I thought was right. Uh, so this, I'm kind of winging it, so this might not be the best tutorial. And some of it's already built, so, uh, because I wasn't sure how it's going to come out. But this is a, I'll, I'll tell you again, this is a five inch hole. Uh, what I did was mounted the wiper motor and centered it in between the uh right in the middle of the hole strapped it down so that's uh i wanted to show you this back side before i get into the rest of it so what i have is uh a three quarter inch board and a quarter inch board and that board is um 22 by 20 I mean you can have it you know any way you want really um, so what I did was I had cut the hole here first and then after I put it together I realized the hole should have been up here so so basically from uh, nine inches across the board and eight and a quarter across that would be the center then you put this five inch hole over here because when I did it I didn't really realize where uh, my the mech was going to end up and uh, so if I was to do it all over again I'd move it over the hole so uh, that's that part so the arm of the wiper motor is uh, two and three quarters long and then it's uh, three quarter inches in is where I put the hole and then uh, a quarter here but I don't think this part matters I mean if this arm came out this long I don't know but I did a quarter in here like um, okay uh, uh, the, the stock metal that I use is one and a quarter wide uh, I put a grommet right here and just scrolled it down and then put like this rubber uh, washer or bushing you really don't need this you could just uh, put anything there but that's what I found it's just a, a, a nylon washer with a rubber grommet I put the grommet in there so I could twist it down and have it stay there so that's what I got so far uh, I have uh, these two holes here, and that's where you're going to um, put your armature thing, and that goes comes from the side to seven inches to nine inches. That's going to be center right here, wherever your hole is, and it's really important that you uh, put it right on the edge here. I'll show you why in a second. Okay, here's the armature part that I got. I know it's. This has got to be the worst tutorial I ever did. But <laughs> this bar is uh, 12 inches long. I put the holes at 6 inches. I mean, I don't know what size screws you're going to use. So, uh, I mean, that's totally up to you what you use. I used a, like a 2 inch screw here. Uh, and then I came down and right here is uh, 5 inches. That's a five inch piece and it's they go it goes in one and a half is where I put the holes in it and I did you know what I'm saying it's like one and a half in one and a half in that's where I put the holes and it's just a square inch and a half stock okay and the reason why you have to uh, Put your holes in the right spot is because you don't want this to bind up uh, when it comes all the way down because it will bind up and basically what this is going to be is a I have this quarter inch board down here that I have uh, uh, these inch and a quarter pieces that I'll set like right here and then set this quarter inch board on top of this and I have 
uh, the three inch uh, three inch uh, pieces to go under here just to keep it off the ground or put it on a put it on a table you know wherever I want to put it you know that's that this gives this is the distance of the motor so the motor don't touch the ground and what I'm gonna do is and I'll show you later is put popsicle sticks all through here and I'm gonna uh, JB weld it and then on this on this piece that goes on top I'm gonna put uh, on the ends I'm gonna put magnets on the popsicle sticks the magnets on top of that quarter inch board and I'm gonna put spiders all along it to where the magnets uh, match up with the spider and the spiders will all be moving all around and that's basically what I'm trying to do uh, yeah this all don't sound that good but <laughs> if you go back and uh, listen slowly it might make more sense okay so uh, what I'm gonna do I told you I was gonna put the spiders on here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put get, get that top on this put all the spiders in here uh, and find out where their movement range is and then I'm gonna put a whole nest I went to Amazon and bought like shit a shitload of spiders so there'll be a mound of spiders on this and all over the whole board and then I'm gonna you know cobweb it up and this and that and uh, but I gotta make sure that I don't put it where the spiders are moving so they can move freely so hopefully that'll be cool and and I originally saw this design somebody had I'm sorry I can't think of who it was but they they did it uh, for uh, tarot cards and the tarot cards were moving so that's where I got the idea from and uh, and then when you're doing this you got you know you got your uh, your bolt here and so you got to make I put two uh, two lock nuts up there because you got to get past the distance of of the of the bolt and then I put uh, a washer on here just to stabilize it so it don't wobble and it works pretty good so and then I'm gonna put another washer here another lock uh, nut on this and then that's where I'm at and I'll you know if you have any questions you always can ask me so okay okay so what I did was I had bought some magnets these are like earth earth I think they're earth magnets or something Narvo. Uh, Narzo or whatever, but I got it from Amazon. If you guys need to know, I can send you the link. And what I did was uh, uh, JB welded popsicle sticks all over and put it there over there. I'm not sure what it's gonna look like <laughs> or, or be, but I got the spiders that I'm gonna put on the top board, like I said. And I'm gonna uh, JB weld the magnets on here and then uh, put the magnets on the spiders on the top board. And uh, we'll see what it looks like uh, when I'm done. I got this at that Amazon too. So we'll see if it even works. <sighs> okay, I got the magnets on. I use a JB Weld. I have no idea if this is going to work. Waiting for it to dry. I'm anxious to, to test it. Okay, I, I just put some magnet. I, I just put some magnets on, and uh, the magnets are moving good. Now I'm gonna glue the spiders on them. Okay, I got <coughs> the spiders all hooked up, and they're on the magnets. I ran out of magnets. Usually, there's gonna be like a whole bunch more all around. But it looks like it's working pretty good. I'm gonna I gotta sand this down and probably paint it to make it a little smoother. But uh uh the spiders are like spinning and you know I think it's gonna work out perfect. I'm hoping. Okay, so this I'm gonna call this about done. I stained this and put a bunch of spiders around with some creepy cloth. But uh, come this summer, I'm going to use uh, my web gun and make real webs and 
the whole scene that it's set in will be set up as a you know a whole spider area. I'll have pneumatic spiders and just creep the whole place out. This will just be sitting in a, in a corner like. I think I, I like how it's going to look creepy at night with a little spotlight on it. Listen.